Hey folks, welcome to Moonshift Audio. If you're making music these days, then you probably need to send audio files to other people. In my work as a producer and mix engineer, I need to send audio around all the time, both to receive the raw audio that I'm working on and to deliver finished work to my clients. Personally, I'm a big user of Dropbox, but a lot of people use Google Drive, which is also a great tool. One thing I've noticed though, is that when you play back an audio file in your browser from one of these platforms, it often sounds a bit sort of crunchy and compressed. Although I use lossless streaming platform Mixup to deliver previews of my work, I often tell my clients when I've sent them the final mix on a Dropbox not to listen to it in the browser and to download the files instead and play them in a media player. For this video I wanted to prove that the playback from these file storage platforms isn't up to scratch and so I used a neat little app called Loopback by Rogue Amoeba to directly capture the audio from my browser when I played back a track that I'd uploaded to Dropbox and Google Drive. I loaded these files into Cubase and set up a null test with the original file that I'd uploaded to see how much information was being stripped out of the audio when I played it back. Let's see how I got on. Okay, so I've got a session here and it's very, very simple. I've literally just got three audio tracks. One's got the original export that I uploaded to Dropbox and Google Drive. And then I've got a track each for the recording that I did playing back these files from Dropbox here and Google Drive on this green one. I've normalized these files so they are exactly the same volume. And if we zoom in, we'll see that these waves look pretty much identical and I've made sure they are perfectly in sync. So what we can do now is a null test and if you're not familiar with what that is I'm going to show you now. It's an excellent way of telling whether two files are the same or you might want to use it to tell whether a plugin is actually doing anything to the signal without any of the controls adjusted. So all you need to do is bounce out an unaffected version of whatever audio it is that you're looking at. In this case my over mono style production from the other week and then another version of whatever you think may or may not be affecting it in this case the playback from Dropbox and Google Drive. Now to show you how this works I'm just going to duplicate this version of my original mix and then I'm going to go in here and on the duplicate I'm going to invert phase or make a new version and if we zoom right in you'll see that what that's done is it's flipped the phase upside down so you can see where this one goes into positive phase, the one below goes into negative phase. And if these files are identical, which I know they are because I've just duplicated the original, and we play them back together, we should hear absolutely nothing. So you can see they're both playing. If I solo one, there's our audio. If I solo the other, sounds identical. It is essentially identical, but both together, the sum of this negative phase and this positive phase is zero. So we hear silence. So that's the null test. I'm going to delete this duplicate now because we don't need it anymore. And we can have a look at our Dropbox and Google Drive. So I'm going to zoom in here at this initial kick drum and you can see here that these files are basically identical, get perfectly in sync. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on the waves just to make it even clearer what's going on. And I'm going to take the Google Drive and Dropbox recordings and I'm going to invert the phase and you can see here now when this one is positive these two are negative and when this one's negative these ones are positive so if these files are identical we will hear nothing when we play this back let's see what we get so what we're hearing now is the difference between those files. Everything that's the same between them will be cancelled out and what's left is the difference. And as I expected, it's mostly in the high end. Again, if I listen to this one, there's the original. And now the Dropbox recording. When I listen to the playback from Dropbox and Google Drive, I often find it sounds like compression. It's usually the most noticeable in the high end. You start to get this sort of lack of distinction in things like tambourines and hi-hats. And it all just sounds a little bit kind of crunchy. It's not always easy to hear, but especially on good speakers and a decent set of headphones, I can hear it. Let's see how Google Drive performs.
So it's very similar. Again, it's that high end. It's actually less significant, the difference between the Dropbox and the Google Drive. So that would tell me that Google Drive is actually performing better. But there's still a lot being removed there. So that's just the original. Now we'll go back to the Google Drive playback. So there you have it. Careful where you're listening. Okay, folks, thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please do like and subscribe for more tips, tricks, resources, and downloads from me at Moonshift Audio. Till next time.